Okay, we're going to continue our look at Crazy Train here by taking a look at the bridge and the solo. So let me play through the bridge section for you. It's a little quick little part. Here we go. Okay, so that's the first half of the bridge. The second half of the bridge, we're going to take it up, uh, the power cord up uh, an octave, and that's basically going to be the same riff past that. So it's going to be like this. And then we're going to end it with just, well, you can still end it. Sometimes uh, you'll hear him on the live version, he'll end it with the open chords, but, um, and some of the times you'll see him just end it with a true power chord versions of it going into the solo. So let's take that slow. We're going to have the second fret, sixth string, uh, the power chord off this, the uh, low E string, second fret, the F sharp power chord. Pick that twice and slowly slide it off the fretboard. And then you're going to hit the A power chord twice and then the E power chord twice. So we'll get this. And then pick it again, the, the F sharp, slide it off. And then do the open D. And then the open E power chord. What we've seen a few times. And then we're gonna do the power chord slide from the F, up the F sharp here off the ninth fret on the fifth string, but the same power chord shape. Then the open A, then the open E, then back to the power chord at the ninth fret. And we're going to end it by doing the power chord at the fifth fret, off the fifth string, up to the seventh fret. So all together. All right, and that takes us into the solo. Uh, so I'm going to break the solo up into little sections here. Uh, the first section is a tapping section, and it's going to sound like this. So we're going to create kind of like a siren effect on a little note. Let me play that one more time here. All right, so let's do all that. So we have, we're just gonna, the pattern that we're gonna be tapping here um, is gonna be, we're gonna start with the, our first finger at the seventh fret on the B string, and then the 10th fret on the B string. And then we're gonna be tapping the 14th fret up here on the B string. So we're gonna first, we're gonna tap the 14, pull off to the 10th fret, then tap the 14 again. Then you're going to pull off to the 10th fret again, pull off to 7, then hammer back on to 10. So we have this. So all together, it's a six note pattern. Sorry. Okay, then we're going to continue that by just moving the first finger up, the tap finger up to the 15th fret, and tap in from there, the exact same pattern. So we have this. So each, the, it was tap, the pattern was done uh, four times with the tap at the 14th, and then four times with the tap at the 15th. Then we're going to do this little siren effect we talked about earlier. All right. So what's going on there? He's holding the 11th fret um, on the third string, and he's tapping the 14 over and over again. So we're tapping between pulling off of the 11 and hammering back on with a tap. But while he's doing that, he's doing he's bending the string with this uh, the 11th fret. So we have okay, it's a cool little effect. And then we're going to end this phrase with a. 
That is a whole step bend at the ninth fret on the G string. Then grab the tenth fret on the B string and then bend again, whole step bend at the ninth fret on G. All right, the next phrase goes like this. All right, so what's going on there? We have a little melody note. It's going to 16, I mean, sorry, 17, 16, 14 on the high E string. So just 17, 16, 14. Then we're going to do a whole step bend at the 17th fret on the B string. And then come back up. We're going to go 14, 16, 17 on the high E string and then do a whole step bend at the 17 on the high E. So we have Alright, then we have this little phrase. What's going on there? We do a quick hammer on then pull off from 14 to 17 on the high E string. Just hammer it on and pull it off. Then come over to the 17th fret on the B string. Then back to the 14 on the high E. Then come back down to the 17 on the fourth, I mean the, the, the B string. Then we're gonna do a pull off from 15 to 14 on the B string. Then you're gonna repeat that pull off at the 14th down to the I mean the 15th down to the 14th. Then you come to the blues note here, which is on the 17th fret on the G string back to the 14th fret on the B string. So we have this. Then we're down here on the G string, the third string. You're going to pick 17, then pull off from 16 to 14. And then we're going to do a whole step bend on the 17 on the G string. While you're holding that, you get you grab the 17th fret on the B string and then you pick the 16 again that you already have bent and release it. and then come down to the 14th fret on the third string. So all together we have all right now we have this next um, kind of a trill section that sounds like this. All right, so we're going to start that with a hammer on uh, a 14 to 16 on the G string, then 14 to 17 on the B string. So those are just two hammer ons. Those aren't we're not trilling yet. Now when we get to the first string, we're going to start the trill. We're going to, our first trill is going to be between the, fifth, the 14th and 17th fret. So do a continual hammer on and pull off between those two notes. Then slide up to, and do the same, keep going with the trill between 16 and 19. And then up to 17 and 21. So we have this. Then you're going to come down instead of the 21st fret, leave your 17 there. Then you're going to play 19. So you're going to be doing a trill between 19 and 17. And then you're going to back the first finger up to 16. So we're doing 16 and 19 now. And then come back and play a trill between 14 and 15. So all together, so from this hammer on. And then we're going to end that section with a whole step uh, on bend at the 17th fret on the B string. Grab the 17 on the high E. 
and then do the whole step in again on the second string, 17th fret. All right, then we have this next phrase. And that's just these three notes to start it. It's 15 on the B string, 14 on the B. So 15 to 14 to 16 on the G string. Then we have this little lick here, which is going to be 14th fret on the third string. And then we're going to play 16, 14, 16 on the D string. Um, so we have this. And we're going to do that lick four times. So we have this. Now he's kind of palm muting that, so just add a little mute at the back, back of your palm right where the string meets the bridge. Then we're going to come with another trill here, but this time it's going to be at 13 and 14 on the third string. Then you play 16 on the third string. And then we're going to end the entire solo with this, uh, this legato lick. All right, let's slow that down a little bit. We're going to first, this is going to be 16th notes here. We're going to pick the 11th fret, slide up to 12, hammer 14, and hammer 16. That's all in the low E string. And from here on out, we're going to be doing 16th note triplets. So kind of think of them in a lot of groups of threes here. We're going to first start out with uh, hammering on from 12 to 14 to 16 on the A string. Then hopping back here and hammering on 11, 12 to 14 on the D string. Then staying on the D string, come up to the 13th fret and you're going to hammer 13, 14, 16. And then 13, 14, 16 on the third string, the G string. So, so far we have... Okay, so from there, we're going to have a... We're going to do a slide here. Now from the 15th fret to the 17th fret on the B string, come and grab the 14th fret on the high E string, then slide from the 17th fret up to the 19th fret on the B string. So we have this. After sliding from 17 to 19, you're going to grab the 17th on the high E string, do a whole step bend at the 19th fret on the first string, and bring it back down and pick it again. So we have, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, let me play through it one more time slowly. And we go back down to the main riff. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, playing Crazy Train. And I'm sure after a short while, if you just break everything up in bite-sized pieces, you'll get all the notes underneath your fingers relatively quick. All right, good luck. Bye-bye.